Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurul Dania Binti Helmi. I'm from class JBA 1145C. This video is about the introduction to preferred stocks. So, what is preferred stocks exactly? It refers to the shares of a company's stock that have superiority over common stock. It is also regarded as hybrid financial securities that has characteristics of both debt and equity. These shares come with special rights that give the senior investors preferred status over the common stockholders. Preferred stock versus common stock. So how do we differentiate between these two? We can use three criteria. The first one being voting rights. Preferred stockholders generally do not get voting rights while common stockholders do with the number of votes directly related to the number of shares that they own. Next, dividends. Preferred stockholders receive fixed and regular dividend payments for a specified period of time. While common stockholders' dividends are variable and are paid out depending on how profitable the company is. And the third one is claim to earnings. Preferred stockholders are paid first while the common stockholders are paid second or last. Parties involved in the preferred stock are the issuer and the holder. The issuer are generally the companies, banks and real estate investment trusts, while the holder are of course the investors. Key features of preferred stock include par value. Par value represent the claim of the stockholders against the value of the firm. Dividends and core prices are normally stated in terms of par value of 100 ringgit. Next, dividend payment. Preferred stock pays fixed dividend payment. Dividend can be paid either at a fixed dollar amount, the fixed percentage of the par value or the issue price, and the profit of the business. And the third one is partial ownership. Preferred stockholders are not the owner of the company. By analogy, the investor provides funds to the company and in an exchange, the company gives certain preferential rights and the rights to receive winding up proceeds before the common stockholders and lastly types of preferred shares the first one is convertible preferred stock the shares can be converted into a predetermined number of common shares the second one is cumulative preferred stock if an issuer of shares misses a dividend payment the payment will be added to the next dividend payment Preferred stockholders enjoy additional dividend than the stated dividend, but typically less than extra amount paid to common stockholders. And lastly, perpetual preferred stock. There is no fixed date on which the shareholders will receive its invested capital. That is all from me. Thank you for watching this video.